Genetic engineering is the most controversial technology to ever hit the agriculture and food industry. While everyone agrees that with climate change and a growing global population, the world needs to produce a lot more food faster, how to achieve that goal is the bone of contention. Today, 19 years after genetically modified seeds were introduced, only 28 countries around the world are growing the seeds and feeding them to their populations. Among those countries is South Africa. Farmers need access to the best mix of technologies to look after the land, to feed a growing population, and to uplift the social and economic status of our communities. And biotechnology has, right from 2006 when it was adopted, proven and shown that it can really you know, meet these objectives. By last year, at least 2.9 million hectares of land in South Africa was under genetically modified crop, making South Africa the ninth biggest producer of genetically modified food globally. 86% of the maize grown in the country is GM, as well as 92% of soybean and 100% of cotton. We grew up in farming areas and we know that at times when we had to harvest, you just didn't get anything from your maize because all the insects and diseases would have done their job. So when I heard about biotechnology and the resistance, I felt, why not? From conventional maize, the, the harvesting was 800 to, to 1 ton per hectare. Now with BT, we're going up to 3 to 4 to 5 ton if the rain is good. Maize is the staple food in South Africa used to make pap, the South African version of ugali. Although the GM technology is considered a huge success, having improved yields, the concern about the safety on humans is getting louder. This concerns the GM seed makers say have no basis because the genes introduced into the crops pose no threat to man. It is a very specific protein only for the lepidopter and pests. So for humans and animals it is completely harmless. It, uh, their digestive system digests those proteins as a normal protein. Despite the success of the technology, there have been stories about insects and weeds building resistance to the BT technology, but South Africa says the resistance is in isolated areas that are under control. It's not a problem. We are advancing the technology. We are introducing new um, BT genes on, onto the market and we are stacking them as well, so it's more difficult for insects to become resistant. Science has given everything on the table, but because of ignorance we still say that uh, no, this technology has not been tested enough. Are we saying we are better than China? Are we saying we are better than South Africa? Are we better than Canada? If you're wondering how GM maize tests, well, I ate some and they test exactly the same as any other maize. Zainab Wandati NTV for Food Friday in Pretoria, South Africa.